Good morning students. Today I Mrs. Hazra will explain you the second module of the chapter matter in our surrounding. The second module is physical classification of matter. The three classification of matter is solid, liquid and gas. But what makes a matter solid or a liquid or a gas? The factors that are responsible are force of attraction between the particles of the matter and the kinetic energy of the particles inside the matter. If the force of attraction of the particles in the matter is very very high and kinetic energy is very very low then the matter becomes a solid. And if the force of attraction is very less and the kinetic energy is very very high then the matter becomes a gas. Then what about the liquid? In case of liquid the kinetic energy is prevalent and the force of attraction is also prevalent but the kinetic energy is not so high to completely overcome the force of attraction. Thus the particles remain in a bulk and this kind of matter is termed as a liquid. Now children, we have to understand the differences between the solid, liquid and gas. First, let us do it on the base of shape. Solid has a definite shape. Liquids take the shape of the container. Gases do not have a definite shape. Volume. Solids have a definite volume. Liquids also have a definite volume. But gases do not have a definite volume. Third, fixed line of boundary. Solids have a fixed line of boundary. Liquids do not have a fixed line of boundary. Gases also do not have. Then we differentiate based on rigidity. Solids are highly rigid. Liquids are partially rigid. Gases are not at all rigid. Then we differentiate based on compressibility. Solids are not compressible. Liquids are partially compressible. Gases are highly compressible. Then we again differentiate based on fluidity. Solids do not flow. Liquids flow and gases also flow. Here I would like to add on the definition of the fluidity. Fluidity is the term given when a matter flows from one part to another part. Similarly, I want to highlight on the definition compressibility. A matter whose shape can be changed by applying force, then it is known as compressible. Now child, there are certain solids, you know, for example, rubber band, sponge, dough at home, they all whose shape can be changed by applying a force. So what kind of solid they are? Are they really solid? They are actually solid. They are known as compressible solids. Similarly children, I just now emphasize that gases shows the highest fluidity and this property makes the gases slowly and slowly soluble into the water. Gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide and soluble in water, hence the aquatic plants and animals, they survive very well inside the water. I have also said that gases are highly compressible. That I want to emphasize on the example which we see in our day-to-day -day life, that is your CNG, that is the compressed natural gas and LPG at home liquefied petroleum gas. I would also like to add on the liquid oxygen gas cylinder that we mostly see in hospitals. These are all highly compressible gas. In a very high pressure, they are made to change into the liquid form and fill up the cylinders. Now, this particles of the gases when they strike the walls of the container, they are always exerting a force. And the force acting by the gaseous particles per unit area on the container is known as pressure of the gas. So children, in this module, you have understood the difference between the three physical states of matter. You have also 
understood the concept of fixed line of boundary compressibility fluidity pressure of the gas so children please there is a notes followed after along with this audio please read the notes carefully and then write it in your fair notebook and also do the unsolved assignment thank you